Hello there, this is channel Mahendra Hopwood. We are discussing geotechnical engineering soil classification. This is video part 2 for this topic. In previous video, we have learned why the classification of soil is needed, what are their advantages or uses and applications and how to identify the soil on field. Now let us discuss different soil classification systems. So, soil classification systems are divided in many types. Basically, the size of individual particles has an important influence on the behavior of soils. In the particle size classification, soils are designated according to the grain size or particle size. Terms such as gravel, sand, silt, and clay are used to indicate grain sizes. These terms are used only as designation of particle size and do not signify the naturally occurring soil types. A number of grain size soil classifications have been evolved but the commonly used are discussed here. Let us move forward. Particle size classification. This can be done with different different methods. US and PRA classification, international classification, MIT classification and IS classification. Let us discuss more for IS classification. This picture is showing IS classification. It is taken from IS 1498-1970. This is showing if particle size is lesser than 0.002 mm they will be called clay if particle size is 0 0.0022 0 0.075 then it is silt if the size of particles are in range of 0 0.075 mm to 4.75 mm then they are called sand again in sand if they are in between 0.425 to 0 0.075, they are fine sands. If 0.425 mm to 2 mm, they are medium fine sands. And if they are of size 2 mm to 4.75 mm, they are coarse sands. Same way, if the particle size lies in between 4.75 to 80 mm, then they are called gravel. If 4.75 to 20 is particle size, then it is fine gravels. And if this particle size is between 20 to 80 mm, then they are coarse gravels. More than that, if particle size is greater than 80 mm, then they are cobbles up to 300 mm. And after particle size exceeding of 300 mm, they will be called boulders. So this is how IS classification is done. Moving forward, textural classification. Soil occurring in nature are composed of different percentage of sand, silt and clay. Soil classification of composite soils exclusively based on the particle size distribution is known as textural classification. The triangular classification system suggested by US Bureau of Public Roads is commonly known as textural classification. The term texture is used to express the percentage of three constituents of soils namely sand, silt and clay. According to the textural classification system, the percentages of sand which is having size in between 2 mm to 0 0.05 mm, silt having size 0 0.05 mm to 0 0.005 mm and clay which is having size less than 0 0.005 mm are plotted along three sides of an equilateral triangle. 
the equilateral triangle is divided into 10 zones 0 to 100 10 zones each zone indicates a type of soil the soil can be classified by determining the zone in which it lies to use this chart for the given percentage of the three constituents forming a soil lines are drawn like I have drawn in the picture which must be parallel to the three sides of the equilateral triangle for an example if a soil is composed of 30% of sand 50% of clay and 20% of silt the three lines equilateral uh, parallel to equilateral triangle lines are drawn for an example 30% sand is provided then I will draw a line from starting from 30% of sand parallel to equilateral side of the triangle so I will draw an orange line then I have been provided 50% of clay then I will draw a line from 50% from clay side parallel to again equilateral triangle side so I will draw a pink line and I am provided that 20% is silt so starting in from silt at 20 percent is I will draw a parallel line to equilateral triangle side from 20 and those three lines will meet at one point you can give any name XYZ ABC to that uh, point and you can check the sector designated for that particular soil sample we can see here those three lines are meeting in the sector of clay so such this sample should be termed as clay if they had met in this area they would be named clay loam and likewise let us move further unified soil classification USCS the Unified Soil Classification System USCS was first developed by Casa Grande in 1948 was intended for use in airfield construction during World War II later it was modified and adopted by Bureau of Reclamation and Corps of Engineers of USA to make it applicable to foundations dams and other construction areas according to USCS the coarse grain soils are classified on the basis of their grain size distribution and the fine grained soils whose behavior is controlled by plasticity are classified classified on the basis of their plasticity this table is showing salient features of USCS all the soils are classified into groups having prefix and suffix here gravel is capital G, sand is capital S, silt is capital M, clay is capital C, organic soil is capital O, peat is PT. And now I am talking about suffixes. If it is well graded then capital W as suffix, poorly graded as capital P, silty as M, clay as capital C, low plasticity as L, medium plasticity as capital I and high plasticity as capital H so this is how we can tell how is the soil type <coughs> if the soil is poorly graded gravel so we have to write GP as G is prefix and P is suffix if they are well graded silt then we have to write M W and likewise let us go move further Indian standard IS soil classification system the Indian standard soil classification system is also known as ISCS it was first developed in 1959 and then it was revised in 1970 the revised version 
is in many respects similar to the unified soil classification system USCS. The fine grain soils in IS classification system are subdivided into three categories namely coarse grained soil, organic soil and fine grained soils. As against it was only divided in two categories in USCS. The ISCS or Indian Standard Classification System classifies the soil into total 18 groups. How? Let us understand. In coarse grain soil there are 8 groups. In organic soil there is 1 group 8 plus 1 9 and fine grain soil there are 9 groups. So 9 plus 9 18 groups are there. Now let us understand turn by turn coarse grain soil then fine grain soil and organic soil. Coarse grain soil in this 50% or more of the total material by mass is retained on 75 micron sieve. Here there are two subdivisions of coarse grain soil only. If 50% or more than 50% by weight are 4.75 greater than 4.75 mm then they are known as subdivided as gravel and if more than 50% of the soil by weight is lesser than 4.75 mm it is known as sand then inside them if they are having less than 5% of fines they are well graded and poorly graded gravels so GW and GP and these are their laboratory criteria. Cu is showing uniformity coefficient and Cc is showing coefficient of curvature. Next, if they are having fines greater than 12%, they are silty and clay gravels. If it is silty gravel, then it is known as GM and clay gravel is GC. They are this uh, laboratory criteria of this. If silty gravel is there, then IP should be less than 4%. If IP is in between 4 to 7%, it should be told as GMGC, as it is in between criteria. Now, fines are still uh, greater than 12%, then it will be known as clay gravel. And their laboratory criteria will be like this. IP should be greater than 7%. Same likewise in sand or in FGS. If fines are lesser than 5%, then they are well graded and poorly graded. Sand, sand, well graded sand and poorly graded sand. Their laboratory criteria are differing from gravels. Here C is required greater than 6 and CC is required between 1 to 3. Then it will be called well graded sand. Here if these criteria are not met then it will be told as poorly graded sand. Same way if the fines are greater than 12 percentage in sand then it will be silty sand and clay sand. Again their laboratory criteria will be if IP is less than 4 percentage it is silty sand. If IP is greater than 7 percentage it is clay sand. And if IP is in between 4 to 7 percentage it is SMSC. In between criteria of silty sand and clay sand. So this was all about coarse grained soils. Now let us move to fine grain soils. As we already know, fine grain soils are divided into nine groups in Indian Standard Classification System. So let us see those. Before going into deep, this is a graph which is plasticity index IP versus liquid limit in percentage graph. Generally this classification 
is laboratory classification of fine grain soil which is done with the help of IS plasticity chart. Now this is a line which is called IPA line, A line which divides the different groups. Equation of A line is IP is equal to 0.73 in bracket WL minus 20. It depends on liquid limit. Now how this line is dividing? This line is dividing on the basis of liquid limit in three different groups as high plasticity or high compressibility, medium plasticity or compressibility and low plasticity or compressibility. Let us see how. If the soil sample is having liquid limit greater than 50 percentage, it will be highly plastic. But if it is clay, then it is CH, clay with high plasticity. If it is organic soil, then OH, organic soil with high plasticity. And if it is silt, then it will be called MH, silt with high plasticity. Same way, if the liquid limit is lesser than 35 percentage, it will be considered as low plastic. Or if it is clay, then it will be written as CL, clay with low plasticity. If it is silt, then silt with low plasticity. Same way, if the liquid limit lies in between 35 and 50 percentage, it will be intermediate plasticity. If it is clay, then CI, that is clay with intermediate plasticity. OI, that is organic soil with intermediate plasticity. And MI, that is silt with intermediate plasticity. One more type is there, which is lying in between CL and ML, which is known as CLML. So this is how nine groups are divided on the basis of compressibility or plasticity. So I conclude my lecture here.